Detectives use a magnifying glass, scientists use a microscope, and jewelry salespeople use a loop. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the best loop on Amazon to sell jewelry in six different ways. Starting with the first way, which is teach your customer how to use it. There's something called reciprocity. You teach something to someone new, or you do something nice for someone new, and then they will feel like they should do something nice for you. Now, that is tip number one. Now let's continue with number two. And that is use it to take a look that of something that the customer owns. You know, when a customer walks on into the store, most likely they're gonna be wearing jewelry. And if they're wearing jewelry, you should compliment it. You should be like, wow, my gosh, your pendant, your ring, your studs, your bracelet, it is amazing. Can I take a closer look at that? Now, not just taking a closer look of it, taking a closer look of it and then getting your loop out to look even closer. That's going to show genuine intrigue and it creates so much more of an impact when you're telling that person, wow, I really like that. Because you haven't just looked at it from a distance, you've looked at it up close and that compliment is coming from a professional that is using a tool the re. And this is the blue light or UV light explanation. Now on this specific loop, the one you see up here on the screen that's linked right down here in the description, you do have a UV light. Now this is something to use with caution, with warning, <laughs> because a UV light on diamonds will show that diamonds fluorescence. Now some diamonds might not fluoresce, some diamonds might fluoresce blue, and some might fluoresce white. Now before going into explaining what white or blue fluorescence really means to a customer, you should know if what you're about to show them does have that fluorescence. Because, let's just say for example, the majority of the diamonds and ring you're showing then all fluoresces white. And white fluorescence means it's not going to look as crystal clear, it's going to look a little bit cloudier out in the blue light of daylight. So if you didn't know that that diamond has that, and then you show them that, well, then they could be like, well, you know what? I don't actually want that ring. If it doesn't, it's not going to look as good out in daylight. And then they might even end up asking you, you know, what if your rings here fluoresce blue? Now, unless every ring in that entire store comes with the GIA certificate, it's going to then take you a lot of time to find a ring that just fluoresces blue because you'll have to test each one individually. So just be careful about that. But of course, if you have that information already on a certificate, I'd recommend showing the person that. Or maybe you come across a really technically mined buyer. At least this way, it gives you the foundational understanding to know what fluorescence actually is, or will white or blue fluorescence make your diamond look better? Now let's move on to tip number four. Now this will help a technically minded person, a person that comes in and they tell you they want something really specific. I want a flawless, I want VVS, this is what I want, but you know the majority of the items in your store are I1 or I2. Now that person might have never compared the two before. So you could end up using this loop in the way of conversation to be able to ask a person, well, have you ever seen the difference between VVS and I2? So that way you know what you're paying for. Now that person might say, no, you know what? I haven't seen that difference, Levon. Then you're going to be like, well, would you mind if I show you? That person's then gonna be like, yeah, absolutely, show me. And then be like, okay, here's my loop. Now I'm gonna find out where, the, where it is, where's the inclusion. And then you're gonna show that person how to find that inclusion for themselves. Then you're gonna find two rings that are <clears throat> very similar. And the difference is one is VBS and one is I2. Now the difference in the price should be significant, but the difference in the actual look or performance is going to be very, very minimal. So this might help you convince that person that's very technically minded to move from the want of a VBS, maybe because you have no options or no inventory in that area in your store, or it's out of their price range, but they do want VVS. Now let's move on to the fifth tip. This is proof that you're not trying to hide anything. 
Maybe that person feels like, you know what, I've done my research and everything, and you know, do you have a loop so I can take a look at it? This is a question that some people will ask you. Now, it can sometimes be a little bit amusing because when you hand that loop to the person, they might definitely not be using it correctly. <laughs> And you know, they're not going to really be able to see anything because if they're looking at it that way, it's just going to look like a blur. <laughs> but some people are going to ask you that question, you know, do you have a loop so I can take a look of it? So by you having that and having, and having, well, which is going to go into the final tip, which is tip number six, but you having a loop there in the store to be able to give to that person is really going to be proof and evidence that you're not hiding anything from them. Tip number six on how you're going to use a loop to sell more jewelry. And this is showing that you're invested in your craft. By you owning your personal loop with all of these lights and everything on it also, a lot of people then are going to be a little bit more intrigued because it's something that's personal, it's something that you own, and it's something that they can see you actually spent money upon. This shows and gives evidence to a lot of people that, oh, this person isn't just like everyone else because look, he spent money on something that is personal to him and mention it. When you take your loop out and be like, no, this, this one here, I've got my own personal loop. Um, this is what it is. And this is why I got it as well, because it has the, it has multiple levels of magnification and it also has these lights. So you can see how this diamond performs under different lights directly right here. Now, hopefully this video has helped you decide and understand how owning a loop can actually help you sell more jewelry as a jewelry salesperson. Now, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. This way you can see how you can maybe even use other tools to be able to sell more jewelry and make more commissions.